Hey Mal. Are you going? Are you going on your holidays? Are you going to see Sue? <laughs> Are you going to see Sue? Sit down then. Sit down. Sit down. Good girl, sit down. So we um, aren't allowed to take dogs where we're going today, so Molly is going to the kennels to see her most favourite friend, Sue, who is a border collie breeder <laughs> <laughs> and has boarding kennels. And Molly, I think Molly loves Sue more than me sometimes. As you can see, she's very excited <laughs> to go and see Sue, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Molly can't come with us today. It's the first time we've left her in over a year, so I'll be interested oh, to see how we get on. But she's very excited to be going to see her friends at the kennels, who is a breeder. So, see you later, Mal. Bye. Molly has realised where we are. You know where <laughs> She's we are, very don't excited. You? Happy dog. <laughs> Never seen a dog so happy to go to the kennels. So we stopped at Penrith and we are going to go and explore Penrith Castle. Um, we've had to bring the car with us as well this trip, we'll explain later, but we basically <laughs> couldn't get into Kendal, could we? We could not. For the Mountain so. Festival, because it was full, um, so we had to bring the car, there's nowhere to get there as well. So we just stopped at Booths, uh, this is Booths of Penrith. And we're going to go and explore Penrith and then go somewhere else before we head off. Excellent. It's a bit breezy. Oh, we've had to shelter from the wind. We're in Penrith Castle. There's a cool echo, echo in there. Echo, yeah. echo. <laughs> We're about to head off to go to Reghead. Next stop, Reghead. Before we uh, we head off for We're, our We managed evening. to leave Booths with only a drink and some satsumas. Yeah. Shocking. I don't know what's become of us. But well, this castle's really cool. It's right in the centre of Penrith. Opposite McDonald's. It's got to be the best McDonald's view I've ever seen. But. Obviously, it was an impressive castle at one time. Right, next stop, Reghead. Let's go. We're at Reghead Discovery Centre. Never been before. It's not in Yorkshire. I don't know why I said in that funny voice. Can <laughs> we do that again? No, let's go and explore. Um, Reghead's under there. It's really cool. We'll show you.
So we came back outside and was sitting in the little huts because they look really cool. Um, ice cream, obviously, because it's freezing. And so I got rum and raisin. What flavours you get? Um, raspberry pavlova. Raspberry pavlova. Mm. What else do we get? Um, Share the supplies. Olives. Olives, good. Olives. And some broccoli chips. Broccoli chips. They're random, but we're going to try them. And these toffee waffles from Wales. <laughs> Great local produce there, well done. I know, I really like them. At least the ice cream's from the uh, Lake District. Yes, so yes. We'll the ice cream from here. Here we are, back at the van. Just kidding. Just to show that you can get vans in here. At Reghead. 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 Yeah, there's space for park, lots of space and space to get camper vans in too. Um, no height barrier, that's quite a hot, tall one. So we're not in a camper van, we're in the car, but that is uh, very useful. Very useful. Turns out Keswick's shut. <laughs> well, you have to book or... Very, very busy. Yeah, we couldn't get a table anywhere. We're very hungry, so we resorted to fish and chips. Or chips and... Peas. Peas and curry sauce, gravy Thank sauce, you. gravy. It is slightly spitting, so we might have to eat fast and go. <laughs> oh dear. We've abandoned the shops so and we've come to Booth supermarket. Again, booth again. Look at this. Oh my I thought it was two. <laughs> Cheese advent calendar. That's so good. We've got to get one of them. Fit in the fridge? No. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. We are in Kendall and this is why we've come on this trip. We are at the Kendall Mountain Festival. Behind us, down there, which you can see, uh, hopefully, is a tent. That is base camp and that's where a lot of the activities and I think shops and stalls are. We've not actually been inside yet, we just got here. So we're going to go inside and have an explore. We're going to take you with us in a minute. Yeah. Basically there's a whole weekend from Thursday to Sunday of activities in Kendall, mountain based festival um, to do with mountain climbing, everything, all exploration. There's loads of videos and films and theatres and stuff showing films and there's all the different activities you can take part in. There's a 10k run today. Yep, we're not doing that. Sadly uh, not. No, I'm not built for running and Caroline's not A fair weather a, runner. She's not brought what running <laughs> shoes. So um, yeah, we're just going to go and explore the tent and go and see what's going on in Kendall. But it's really cool, it's a really cool atmosphere and vibe. Um, be good to see it as it goes dark later on as well. We couldn't actually stay in Kendall. We didn't book this till the last minute and every single campsite was full in the area. So we've ended up staying far further away and bringing the car as well so which is a bit of a nightmare because it means we can't travel together in the van and stuff so we've got the car too with this which we're able to get into Kendall today and uh, also you're not allowed to bring dogs yes and you? also you're not allowed to bring dogs which is why Molly's not here with us on this trip which uh, we haven't actually explained yet have we we, we dropped off at the start and said she couldn't come yeah <laughs> we might have missed that but bit. she's not allowed in the mountain festival dogs aren't allowed in which is quite odd because obviously it's you know it's outdoors based yeah. and there's probably millions of people with dogs that do this kind of thing so but she's out on her holidays anyway so enjoying herself so yeah we'll take you inside and see what we can find
turns out that wasn't base camp. Uh, no, we did think it looked a little bit small for base camp, but that is what the map said. Base camp is behind us and it's absolutely huge. So we're about to go in and explore. There's loads of people with dogs outside, as we said, because dogs aren't allowed in. So we're now going to go in and explore the base camp. Is there anything you like? Bag is always a bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's nearly Christmas. Um, lead climbing is where you climb with ropes, um, and then bouldering is where you climb like shorter. And they have outdoors too. More tents and food to explore. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's smart. Oh, just realised they've got mountain bike trails from Kendall for the festival. We're definitely coming back next year. With bikes. With bikes, with a camper van here in Kendall itself, <laughs> not parked miles away. We'll book now. <laughs> So we've wandered around base camp, had a look around all the shops, haven't we? It's quite yes. a lot of uh, like stalls. They don't seem to be selling as much no, as you thought. No, disappointingly, that I can't spend his money. <laughs> I <laughs> thought there'd be a lot more like uh, like bigger stalls. It's got quite small, sort of showcasing their sort of equipment or the high-end stuff. Yeah, I thought I was yeah. getting a Fjord Raven bag and a I new coat. Them. Yeah, but they weren't selling them. I tried to win you one. I went to the competition. I know. Never um, mind. But yeah, no, it's quite a cool atmosphere as well, though. I imagine it'd be good in the dark, too. There's all food stuff outside. Massive focus on coffee and plant-based food. Yes. Climbers are obviously very uh, coffee, caffeine-boosted. Caffeine-driven. <laughs> and uh, plant-based, which I guess is, makes them lighter and then they don't fall off the mountains. So we're going to um, attempt mountain climbing? Yeah. <laughs> I'll hold your coat at the bottom. <laughs> I think we'll stick to hiking. Yeah, I think so too. So we're going to go and explore and see if we can find the rabbit tent, because I can't find that. And I think it's quite big, so we're going to see if we can see oh, that. We don't know how we can miss it then, if it's as, no, it's no. as big as we think. I don't know where we are, but we're going to explore. Well, maybe it's about asking someone for directions. <laughs> oh, oh, blimey. <laughs> so just on the way out of the tent, we bumped into a company called Trash Free Trails, didn't we? Yes, yeah, it's like a community-based charity project. Where basically they're teaching people um, to clear trails, clear mountain bike trails. So anybody who's in the mountain biking world, you'll know from riding around, often you find things like gel pouches left everywhere, water bottles, etc. sometimes. Um, but it's basically teaching people about clearing trails. So they're creating the first uh, baseline study of mountain bike trails to see what data has been found and what rubbish has been left and trying to clear it. Um, so anybody who's into mountain biking, you're riding around trails, check them out, Trash Free Trails. They're a charity, a small, very small company, um, but they're creating this survey. And basically you can go on, you can log the stuff you find and obviously bin it as well while you're going around. But a really good idea. And they yeah. also go into schools. Yes, yeah, so I think they do a lot with the mental health and the recovery of people um, as part of their uh, education piece on uh, litter on trails um, is preventative as well and going into schools and talking to young children about um, basically keeping the place clean clean and tidy. Yeah. But yeah, mountain bikers, check them out. Trash free trails, really good. I'm going to start collecting rubbish on my rides. We've come for a talk. We're not sure what the talk is. So they've come for a talk. I'm going to sit down. Very interesting. They're very excited about the talk. Not sure what it is, but we're excited. Right, we finished the uh, talk. It was actually really interesting, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, talk with Emma Twyford. Very interesting. I learned a lot about climbing that I didn't know about. Um, so there was quite a few questions I wanted to ask, but there were some serious climbers in the audience, so I was a bit embarrassed. Um, so I might Google them. But we have got lunch. Amazing pies. Local pies. What's yours? Uh, I've got curried cauliflower. That's mine. And chicken and mushroom. Chicken and mushroom. We sold out of steak and ale. Steak and ale. There's a 20 minute wait, yeah. but we're just we're hungry, so yeah. we've gone with this. Just to clarify, that was not a cheap excuse to sit down and have a local beer. Although I did try grass made gold and you had a glass of wine <laughs> while we're listening to the nice lady talking. Yeah, but it's really, it was really good. Yeah, yeah. inspiring. Let's yeah. get climbing after we've eaten these pies. <laughs> So 
sorry for filming you while you're eating. Again, every time. <laughs> every well, time. How was your pie? Really good, thank you. Really, really See, if good. If you ate faster, then like mine, filling. you'd realise that if you ate them faster, I can't, I can't film you eating. I must say. That's not a good representation of the quality of the pie, the mushed up bits in the bottom, is it? I must say, that is one of the best pies I've ever eaten. I'm not even joking. I am a pie connoisseur. <laughs> and I normally wouldn't go for chicken pie. The I'm, I'm just like, all the pies in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Love you. <laughs> um, yeah, so like this bit, Dan, I do like a pie. And steak and ale particularly is one of my favourites, but um, it sold out, so I had chicken. Well, no, I was quite... Um, I've never had curry in a pie before, so curried cauliflower was welcome, yeah. actually. Welcome. We're going back inside to find out where the pies are from and see if we can buy some more before we leave, Kendall. <laughs> Epic. We've come back in to find the name of the pies, and they are called... Wagtail Pies. The Wagtail found Kitchen. It. Wagtail Pies. Cool, right. We should go now and buy some wagtail pies. I'm not sure what's going on here, but we're going to explore. Cool tent. You didn't get it. Um, okay, are they, are they, do I, oh. Rest me gold. Better, thank it's you. Very nice indeed. Just realised oh, I'm filming thank you so Caroline much. talking to someone. She's got a microphone on. What's the filming on it? <laughs> right. Typical Lake District fashion, it's now pouring down. We've come outside from the fetch talk thing and it's raining. But we did get some nice mugs. We talked to the very nice people at the Caravan Motorhome Club site. Gave and we, some nice they mugs. gave us some mugs free of charge. Thank you. They'll go nice in the camper van. They will. So, talk to them, they're very nice. They're a nice airstream. But yeah, it's raining, as you can see. So we're going to head into Kendall and find the local shops to get Caroline some, I don't know. Beer, beer, beer for Caroline, yeah. Oh, beer, oh, yeah. Let's beer go. Purely for me. We're back. We're back, back in the van. Back to the van. It was very wet in Kendall and uh, rainy, so we didn't film much after you, the last seen us uh, eating pies and stuff. So <laughs> a bit of wandering around, but we did able, were able to go shopping. Something we didn't realise in Kendall. Obviously, we, we were disappointed there wasn't as many like sort of stalls to buy stuff from in the actual base camp, but a lot of the outdoor shops had special offers on. So like twenty percent off um, in that shop. Was it called? Uh... Um, I don't know. Can't remember. In an outdoors shop. Yeah, outdoors shop. They're 20% off for the Kendall Mountain Festival, so it's driving people to buy from the local businesses, yeah. which was really good. Which is actually a bit better than there being some shopping. Yeah, yeah, I like in that. The, yeah, in the base camp thing, yeah. wasn't there? So yeah, we will so forgive them that then. Yeah, it was pretty good. But they're really good. It's really, if you like them outdoors and stuff, there's loads to do. Next year, though, we're going to book. We're going to, going to book now, aren't we, to stay? Yeah, we're going to try and book now. Yeah. It would have been really good if we didn't have to travel so far to get there and back. Um, you know, we, we were that far away. It was almost easier to, to drive home than it was to drive to, uh, to Kendall. Yeah. But anyway, that's a different story. Um, so yeah, and having to take the car as well, which is obviously, you know, doubling doubling everything and not able to travel together. So it's really annoying. Yeah, but I think it's nice. It would be good to go and just sort of pop in and out at the festival yeah. and see um, bits and pieces on different days and in the evening as well. There's some sort of parties and evening talks yeah, and loads things, of stuff. films on. Yeah, we missed like, like missed the like the Rab 40 year birthday party celebration last night, which was, uh, mm. I know, yeah, in mind. I'll have to get back next year. But we did, however, go to the shops and we did find uh, <laughs> so the clunky giving away a bag which says what? All cheese is great and cheese small. Cheese is great and small. Like that very much from Booths. Booths is an epic. Um, Booths had breakfast for two pound eighty one. Oh yes, they for did. For a hot drink and either a bacon or a sausage roll. That's amazing. Right, you can start this um, time. We do like Booths. Um, mainly a northern. Booths, she said, not Booths. Booths 
Booths and booze. Um, booze is mainly a, a northern thing, and they posh supermarket. Yeah, rely. Um, no, rely. Supply a lot of local produce, so it's really good. Yeah. If you do find a booth, definitely, definitely recommend it. Um, I'm going first this time yeah. because I have a Lakes Gin for my gin collection. It's it's kind of expanding quite rapidly now, mm. isn't it? Um, pink grapefruit we've gone for, mainly because I like the colour. Um, but is I really love the bottle. And this is from the Lakes Distillery, Where which is, it? is uh, in... It just says the Lakes Distillery Company, Cumbria. Okay. But okay. on the way, we did drive past the sign for it, didn't we? We did, yeah. We got some cheese as well, but that's from um, Garstang, which isn't too far away. Um, and also, funny enough, we bought some beer. What um, a surprise. Fell Walker Pale Ale. This one's from Boness Bay Brewery. So hopefully, again, you can see that. I'll try and show the camera if it's picking it up. Boness Brewery. Boness Bay Brewery. Obviously from, uh, from Boness, I presume. Yes. Bottled. Brewed by Bonus Brewery. Yeah, Kendall. So very nice local beer, Kendall beer. And then also some more, uh, Black Swan, which is from the Bonus Brewing Company as well. So this is another one to try. So this one is a craft beer. This one's a bit of a, more of a heavy beer. Um, this one is the dark brother of the Swan Blonde IPA, which isn't that one. Hang on. So I have also the Swan Blonde. Mm as well set. from the Boness Brewery so again this one's this one's um, a lighter beer this one is a pale ale Swan Blonde this one says it's the most popular beer and it's the last one in the supermarket bearing in mind they had shed loads of beer and the final one Emperor which is from Penrith felt because we went to Penrith the day before I'll try one of them as well so the Emperor which is uh, another beer. I didn't research these very well, did I? Pale ale. So again, that was quite nice. So I'm going to try all of these and then... I mean, there was shelves and shelves of local beers, wasn't yeah. there? Like from Kendall and then, you know, the lakes. Really good beers, yeah. Generally, Lots of choice, yeah. yeah. So very happy with that. Yeah, that, we only could carry one bag with the other stuff that we had. Yeah, and this is raining. We're going to put drink these now. Well, not all of them, but the time, <laughs> not all of it. And I've had dinner. So I've got a uh, Cumberland sausage as well for dinner. So a big Cumberland sausage ring. So I'm going to cook that and have that on a roll for dinner. Because uh, we had lunch now, didn't we? With pie. With pie, yes, of course. You've seen it, you right. We had well. the pie. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We really like the mountain. Uh, we really like the, what's it called? Kendall, Kendall Mountain Festival. Kendall Mountain Festival. Really recommend it. Yeah. So we'll see you all there next year. Next year, yeah, we'll book up. Uh, and oh, we've got free mugs from the Caravan and Motorhome Club. Oh, yes. We might have shown that already. I can't remember. Only us. Probably haven't Yeah, we did have a chat yeah, about it. We did. We might, might have to edit have, this bit out. Might not. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next week's video. Thank Bye. you. Bye.